Hi, I'm Andrea, um, aka Pepper Fandango, <laughs> aka the Sound <laughs> Lady. Um, so it's my job to run sound for the open mics here, the open mic, the open mics, the open mic at the empty glass. Um, and uh, I, I love my job most nights. <laughs> Now, I mean, as far as running sound, I mean, what, what's it like back there at that booth? Um, on an open mic night, it's like um, sort of more work and less work at the same time because you have to set up a lot more musicians, but generally it's just them and the guitar most of the time, so it's not that hard. Um, it's interesting to see all the different people that come through, and especially when there are people in from out of town. It's also hey, my name is Leo DeSanto, and I'm a, a songwriter, a traveling songwriter from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, at the beginning of a month-long tour, heading down to Texas uh, and back up to Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll be away for a month, and tonight's the night off. I uh, played in Thomas, West Virginia last night. I'm going to be playing in Louisville, Kentucky tomorrow night. And I was passing through uh, Charleston. I heard about the empty glass and uh, thought about booking a gig here, and it, it didn't it didn't come out. But I've heard that they have uh, the longest running open mic in town in the town of Charleston. So I thought, why not come out and meet some other musicians and uh, play some songs and uh, you know have a night of playing here. You're trying to go somewhere in this world, Lord, I know, Lord, I know. But this apartment is waiting for you. Anywhere that you could go, you are in a broken Kansas City. Or sleeping in the Alamo, Alamo. That's all right. Pretty wall behind the stage that's all glittery and artsy and sparkly, and I really like that. It's so you, cool. You just turned 21. Yes. <laughs> Baron Von Fiddles, aka Be Rude, from Dinosaur Burps. I like to get super shit face wasted at the glass. The empty glass. It's my favorite place on the East End. It's a, it's a better, uh, I don't know. Man, Welcome fuck. Welcome to the empty glass back lot. Uh, my name is Adam Joseph Grieco, and I played last week at this fine establishment. And it was not my first time on stage, but. The way my butt was clenched up, I was so nervous. You'd think it would have been. I don't know. I, I, I uh, I'm not quite. I'm not really uh, a musical person, but I like music. So, I, a hobbyist. I, 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 Raise those beer glasses up. La, da, da, da. What's up, guys? What's going on? Steve Clever, Empty Glass, Open Mic, Monday Night, baby. Your host. You got this every third Monday of every single month. So come on down, sign up, play on the list. Play on the list. Yes, that's right. You stand on the list while you play, and you play on the list. Put your name on the damn list, and you get up when your name is on the list, all right? If your name ain't on the list, you don't get up. That's just the way it goes around here. You gotta play at least two songs, and they have to be full songs. You can't play 10, 15 minute damn songs without an ending, alright? It's just the way it goes down here at the empty glass. And always remember, the glass is never empty at the empty glass. Just call out my name, they call me S-T. E-V-E-C-L. E-V-E-R. Baby, tell me what you wanna do with Steve. You got clever feeling like Joe to see. Every time that you roll with me, holding me, try to keep control of me. Nice and slow, but you know, never let it go, never messing up the flow. It's very uh, low ceilings. You know, I would, I would call it very bad acoustics. But cool. You know, people still come here and drink. So. Do you come here and drink? Yeah, I come here and drink all the time. I have for years. I've come here in my work, like clothes. Come here in my pajamas. Um, I've come here and played.
played open mic, it has good nights, it has bad nights, but the people who are here are always, like, they're just your Charleston people. Like, they're such cute townies, and, like, they all just have warm hearts, and it's so fucking adorable that it makes it the most, like, heartwarming place in Charleston. What about you? Do you feel the same? I come here if I need a good place to do shit. What she said. Thank you.